And now we're ready for our featured speaker. I'm having so much fun. This is a real wake up call, you guys, a real one where everybody is amped and hyped and raring to go. Now, this coach, I found out, has been coaching for nine years. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And I'm so glad she's getting on the wake up call because um, she signed up in 2012. Do you guys remember where you were in 2012? I don't. I don't. But she was signed up. Um, she's a 2021 elite coach. She's also uh, she was a 2020 premier coach. Uh, both of which years were difficult to hit any goal. So I'm very impressed. Um, she's also a legend, what we call a legend here, success club, all star legend, which means that she has achieved success club more than 24 months in a row, but she's done it for 85 months in a row. She's from Lexington, South Carolina, Team Glow, Ashley Howard. Hey, Ashley, let me bring you in. <laughs> hey, Hi. Hi, thank you so much for that intro. You're very, very welcome. You, I hope you are just as amped as everybody else on this call. This is a big day, August 2nd. Um, I am going to step aside and ask you to talk about um, in the course of your nine years, what's been a wake-up call moment for you as a coach? Yeah, well, I first off, how can you not be amped up after hearing Kijan and Bailey? But you guys, thank you so much for having me on. I It's truly an honor, Sandy, to be on the Wake Up Call. And I wanted to share just a bit about where my journey started and how it's going. So my journey with Beachbody actually starts way back in high school. If you can remember high school, I really can't much anymore. But I had stopped playing sports my senior year, and I really wanted to stay active. So a friend of mine and I decided we were going to work out together after school. And she came over, and I got out a DVD that my mom had had, and I blew off the dust. And it was Slim in Six. I don't know if anyone remembers that program. It's a great program with Debbie Siebers. And I was 18 years old, and I plugged that DVD in. And we worked out together every day after school for that entire senior year. So really, I had no idea that Slim and Six was my first introduction to Beachbody, but it really would come for full circle years later. So I became a group fitness instructor actually a few years later in college. I'd always felt like this natural encouragement to help other people. And so in 2012, I actually moved away from my hometown. I left everything that I knew. I was 23 years old and I settled in a new place. So I'd actually stopped teaching classes at that point, and I was kind of in this lull in my health, fitness, but also my career. I had a marketing degree, and I was a three-time corporate America dropout. I really felt like I was in a funk. I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life, and I just needed like a bright spot in my life. So that was actually where I met my coach in my new town. And it wasn't actually an Instagram message. We met in person. Um, our husband, now husbands actually knew each other first. And she was just being a friend to me. She invited me to work out with her in the gym. We met, she popped in a Turbo Fire DVD. Yes, we're talking 2012 DVDs. And I was hooked. I loved it. And then she handed me that DVD and she said, you can keep this for a while. So I took that DVD back to my apartment and I did that workout, specifically the HIT 20 workout from Turbo Fire every day that entire week. Now remember I was a corporate America dropout, I was working multiple jobs to pay the bills and that workout gave me so much energy to just continue. But what it also gave me was this light again that I had remembered back when I was a senior in high school that I had dusted off that program and started moving my body. I felt the same thing that I felt then in 2012. So it didn't take me much. I signed up to be a coach just a couple weeks later because she was a coach and I trusted my friend. And I'm like, well, if she's doing it, it makes sense to continue on my journey and be able to have accountability to me, but also help other people. And that's kind of what Beachbody is all about, right? So here's the thing. I'd like to say I hit the ground running that date I signed up, October 22nd, 2012, and just sprinted out of the gate, but that is not true in my business. So just a caveat, it's never too late for you guys. I did not hit success club or really do the vital behaviors for 18 months, a year and a half. Now, I was having fun. I was diving into mindset, personal development. I was following programs, drinking my Shakeology, but I was not actively doing the vital behaviors. So in April of 2014, some things had changed. I had signed up a coach of mine on my team who's still with me today who wanted to hit the ground running and build her business. And it was a real gut check moment for me. If I was gonna have a coach on my team, I had to do the things, right? So I signed her up in April of 2014. And in May of 2014, I decided I was going to always achieve success club. Not only that, I wanted to grow my team as well. So what I had learned from my upline and our team is to what? 
to do the vital behaviors. So I showed up on social media. I started sharing my journey like I had always been doing, but this time I got a little more into reaching out to people. I got over myself, out of my head, into my inbox, and I started sending out those invites because I just believed in this so much. I was always proof that the products worked. So years later, it's the vital behaviors that led me to helping new people every single month but I always led with taking care of me first. And I think that's really important. Through the years, I really grew up with this business. I've become a wife. I'm a mom of two, our little guy, which is born in January. And really, I've become the best version of myself. And I know I'll become a little bit better every single day. So Sandy, that's kind of how it started. And that's how it's going. You know what's so great about Beachbody On Demand is that you don't have to dust off the uh, workouts <laughs> when you go back to like an original program. Slim and Six was amazing, Turbo Fire, everything that you, you talked about. I cannot get rid of my DVDs. They're sitting there just like, you know, posterity. But uh, the only thing you have to dust off now is yourself <laughs> to get into a workout. Um, thank you for sharing all the years that you have been um, with Beachbody um, and also that it took you a while to just kind of get into a groove with vital behaviors. Um, one of the things that our coaches struggle with is inviting. And I'm not sure if it's the actual invite itself or not knowing what to invite to. And you and I talked about this topic and that's always having something to invite to. And you created that momentum so that when you invite, there's always something there for people to join. So I'm gonna step aside, have you go through your talking points and take it away. Awesome. Yeah, thank you so much. And we really framed this call how I stopped overthinking and started over inviting. And I love that because inviting was the one consistent thing that I committed to in the first real year of my business that really launched my business forward. So what I used to do was invite frantically without a plan, kind of throwing spaghetti at the wall and hoping something would stick. And I was you know, struggling to reach my success club goals every single month but I got better with organization over time. I got better with a monthly plan. And it all ties back to really simple things, taking care of my health first and simply inviting others along the way. So what I have for you this morning are three simple tips, if my, my team knows I'm all about simple, for you to take the overwhelm out of inviting, stop overthinking and make it an everyday practice. Number one, are you ready? Commit to your journey. I know we've been hearing this, what, all morning long, all year long. That's because it's it's just key to everything, you guys. But if we aren't following a program, it's hard to invite to a program. So I want to say that one more time. If we aren't following a program, it's hard to invite to a program. Follow Beachbody workouts. Choose a nutrition plan. I always tell my team we don't have to be perfect. No one is. But we do have to be consistent. It also makes talking about our journey a whole lot easier. Now, we don't have to be a walking billboard for Beachbody, nor should we be, but we are proof that these products work. So commit or recommit to a program. Is it 645? Is it nine week control freak? Is it let's get up? Whatever you do, do it and be all in and then share on your stories every day about a piece of your journey in addition to the rest of your life and be able to share about what you're doing. I also share one to two times a week in my feed, like my actual posts, about the workout I'm doing, how I'm feeling, what was hard, and what I'm excited about going forward. So when you're more consistent in your health and your social media posts, and you have stories that reflect that, the easier it will be to have conversations with friends and followers about what you're doing. And this is how simple it is. When I see a new like on my post or a new viewer on my stories, I simply reach out. I say hi and I thank them for their support. And I ask, have you heard anything about this 13 week program that I'm doing? I'm absolutely loving it. This usually leads to a conversation about their goals and how I can help them. But remember, it starts with me. We can't pour from an empty cup, but when my cup is filled, I am so excited and ready to help other people and just pay that journey forward. So what I wanted to do, because I'm a visual person, and don't worry if you're not watching, I will explain this. I wanted to show you an example of what a post could look like when I share my journey. So Sandy, if you can share your screen and send that picture that I had um, shared with you, I will explain what we see on the screen. It's a simple picture. Oh wait, do we see it? Give me just Wait, one second. Please. I have to take something off to put it up. No worries. I just wanted to be sure we could see. Uh, but what I'll do is I'll kind of pre-explain it. So sometimes we think about a post being, it has to be a side-by-side, -side, right? It has to be this 
big, you know, weight loss or weight gain toning transformation, when really it just has to be a simple, clear picture of us sharing what we're excited about and the changes that we're noticing. So if you can see on my screen here, I actually put this post up yesterday. And this is simply about my journey with 645. Just a nice flexing picture in my bathroom, but it's a bright picture to catch attention. And basically, I'm not gonna read the entire caption, but it starts out with saying two weeks down, 11 to go. And what I'm sharing is the journey, right? So I'm basically explaining how I feel after two weeks of these 45 minute workouts. I also follow intermittent fasting, which works really well for me. And I could similarly do a reel on Instagram, taking my caption that I posted right there, taking that picture, maybe turning it into more of a video with pop-up text and maybe some fun dance moves in the same workout gear um, and share the same story. So I just wanted you guys to see that it doesn't have to be an extreme transformation when it can simply just be a pop-in to say, hey, I'm on my journey and here's how I'm feeling. So thank you, Sandy, for sharing that. And more importantly, you guys, I always have in mind what week of the month it is, which allows me to cater my invites to the people supporting me with urgency. So whether it's at the beginning, the middle, or the end of the month, I know what I'm inviting to, which leads me to point number two. Have an inviting plan based on the time of the month. This is so important. There is never a bad time to invite someone on the journey with you. So whether you run an ongoing BOD group or one that has a start and end date, it doesn't really matter. What matters is you can either be helping someone get started on their journey or bring them in and consistently support them through the beginning, middle, and end of their program. All the while, you are follow leading by example when you're staying consistent and completing your own programs too. So just to give you some insight, I focus a ton on invites the last week of the month and the first week of the new month because in my BOD group, we start a new theme monthly. And that's really exciting. I go with the momentum of, hey, we have a new group starting, a new theme starting. Let's go and get in, hit the ground running with me. And if someone misses my week one sign up date, the month's not over. It's OK. If they join me on you know, week two or three of my new BOD group, because remember, I'm always sharing my journey. So I always have that opportunity to invite. It's no big deal. I get them set up. I help them get started on their journey and I let them know that they're going to get a feel for what this group is like. They're kind of going to test the waters and then they're ready to really hit the ground running from the start of our new group, already having had some experience a couple weeks before. So they will get to experience a group in its entirety the following month. They get started on their program the following Monday and they get experience with logging activity in the group. Now, of course, they'll be able to immediately start logging their workouts. They're not gonna have their Shakeology immediately. We have that five to seven day typical waiting period, but that's okay. So while their package may take a little bit to arrive, what I first do when someone signs up is I send them a welcome email. And in that welcome email, I send them the Beachbody blog top 10 Shakeology recipes, and I tell them my favorite recipe. I wanna get them really excited. So I also include a one minute video link to the superfoods in Shakeology. I've been drinking Shakeology every day since 2013. I feel amazing drinking it. And I just want people to understand this is not just a protein shake. This is fueling our bodies with dense nutrition. And here's why, right? So that is all in their welcome email. My goal is I wanna get them pumped up and moving their body before their package arrives. So they'll be in our bod group, right? They will be seeing both sweaty selfies and Shakeology recipes flooding that feed and now my goal is they're even more excited to get started using theirs. So when the next group, the next month, or the next theme begins, they will again have that experience with Beachbody On Demand, with the app, with Shakeology, with starting to follow either To Be Mindset or the Portion Fix. And now they'll have the momentum to keep going and they get to be a part of something from the beginning the next month. So once again, there's never a bad time. And if your BOD group is ongoing, that's great. I think Carl said this earlier, every Monday is a new opportunity to welcome new BOD members, help them celebrate their day one and continue to lead by example on your own journey. So if I'm personally starting week three of 645, which I am, got my workout in this morning, I still invite someone to start their week one. Because remember, this is really important. You only have to be one step ahead of someone else to lead them on the journey. And if you have a plan in place to do so, I promise it will help take the overwhelm and overthinking out of inviting. We don't need a new month. We just need a new Monday. So because of that, every morning when I sit down to work my business, I know what perspective I'm going to put on my invite. For example, if it's the beginning of the month, I invite them to start this new group with me. If it's the middle or the end of the month, I invite them to start 
check it out, get their feet wet, get excited, and have the opportunity to keep going when the next theme group or month begins. However you run it, it's totally fine. And that brings me to my last point, my most excited point. If you guys love this, please hashtag it. I will explain it in a moment, but lean into Getmo. I'll explain. Two of the most common reasons I believe for inaction are overthinking and overwhelm in this business. Instead of taking action, we become paralyzed by overwhelm and therefore we take no action. I know this because this was me. I got overwhelmed and I did nothing. So I heard the term getmo at a conference two years ago and it has stuck with me ever since and really helped me make a difference in my business and in my life. It stands for good enough to move on. Getmo. That's what I want you to hashtag if it helps you. You don't need a perfect bod group with a ton of content. You definitely don't need 100 people. A group is defined by three or more. Commit to a program. Open a group. Log your activity. Invite others and support them. You guys, that's the journey. That's being a coach. You don't need 100 templates for how to invite. If you're committed to your journey and you show up for it every day on social media, take a deep breath. Simply extend a hand for someone to join you. So here's what I need to do as a coach. Fuel my body, fuel my mind, show up on social media and show up in the inbox. Rinsing and repeating that enables you to trust the process. And when you trust the process, you gain momentum. So the person that you extend a hand to to invite today, they might not be ready today, but you never know if there's been someone watching you for months, it might be their day to work with you. It might be their day to say yes. Never, ever, ever give up. The breakthrough usually comes right before you wanna quit. So keep going. So here are some get mo actions I share with my coaches so that they can overcome the overthinking and simply start. Take updated progress photos for their health journey. Set up a bod group. Carl challenged us to do this today. Choose a start date for the group. So for example, if it's like mine, my new bod group starts next Monday. I'm opening it up today to get prepped. And I have this entire week ahead of me to get excited, extending the hand to my new bod group that begins Monday, August 9th. Think about that. Monday, August 9th could be the day that changes someone's life. And that just gives me chills thinking about it. That's what we do as coaches. Go to your story viewers and message the first five people who are watching you. Thank them for their support and simply ask, have they heard about this program that you're doing? You're loving it, right? Go to your last post that you had shared about your health and fitness. Do the same thing with inviting your supporters. And if you don't have a post like that, well, that's their assignment. Do one today. Remember, we need to share our journey to be able to have people to invite along with us. So to recap, number one, commit to your journey. Number two, have an ongoing inviting plan. And number three, remember GetMo. Just do it messy. I believe this will help you stop overthinking and start over inviting just like I did. Sandy, those are my three tips. I love it. I love it. And a lot of people love it. Getmo is very easy to remember and very simple. Um, the process is great. Um, I also like what you said. I was taking notes this whole time um, that show up on social media, but also so show up in your inbox too. So just keep the conversation going, keep it ha happening. Um, last but not least is that in nine years, almost nine years, right? Is what's been the key factor of your success? Do you think, what do you attribute that to? Oh, so much. <laughs> I think I said in the beginning that I really believe I grew up with Beachbody and I believe that to be, to be true. When I joined, I was 24 years old. Remember I told you I was really lost in life, but the beauty of becoming a coach is when, even though I didn't get started with my vitals, I started with personal development right away. I picked up my first book about two weeks in after signing up to be a coach and I never stopped growing my mindset. So while I didn't hit the ground running with my business for that first year and a half, I did hit the ground running with mindset and I've learned from people who've gone before me. So keys to my success. I learned business practices from my star diamond upline coach, Janelle Summers. I learned habits and discipline from Shaleen Johnson. I learned about the compound effect from Darren Hardy. And most recently, I learned about how to overcome overthinking from John Acuff with his new book, Soundtracks, which I highly recommend. And here's the other thing I learned from. 
You guys, I learned from the wake up call when I made the decision in May of 2014 to mentally go all in with my business. I dug out the Team Beach Body Coach podcast. I scrolled to the very beginning. And over the next few months, I listened to every single national wake up call up until that point. Now, I'm not saying go do that because obviously beach body, so social media and best practices for it have changed in the last seven years. But I did learn that success leaves clues. And I was going to soak up all the knowledge I could from those who have gone before me. I absolutely love the, pro the person I've become in the process and the community that our team has built along the way. So I attribute personal development and I'm so grateful every day for saying yes to Team Beachbody. I can't believe it's been nine years and I'm looking forward to nine more. I can't believe that you've listened to all the wake up calls. I'm glad the content is still relevant and people are going to the podcast. So thank you so much. You did a great job, Ashley Howard, and everybody can go back to Facebook and listen to your tips again or watch uh, again. Thank you so much. You guys, this has been a very favorite call of mine. A lot of hype this morning. Mondays are a great time to start. Um, any day is a great day to start, but if you prefer to start a program on a Monday, today is your day. You can wait till August 9th, but today is also Monday and tomorrow's Tuesday and you can start tomorrow. Doesn't matter when you start. Ashley even said, you're always going to be maybe one step behind someone, but one step in front of someone. Go make it happen today. This is your wake up call. We'll see you here next week. Bye-bye.